What's good fellas, welcome back to the channel. Today, I wanna talk to you about a fragrance that I found, or better yet, a fragrance that found me. Today, we're diving into the world of Oud, and we're talking about the best Oud fragrance under a hundred bucks. Now, if you've been a long time collector of fragrances, then you know the price of fragrances have steadily to climb. Year after year, they go up higher and higher, to the point where niche fragrances are pretty much in line with these designer fragrances for pricing depending on where you're going which is vastly different than what it once was but I came across a fragrance that is an extract de parfum at 40% concentration it is an oud fragrance that is long lasting powerful boom sexy sensual and seductive and can be found for under 100 bucks you don't believe me <laughs> check it out listen today i want to talk to you about joe sent me's hardcore oud now he didn't ask me to do this review he didn't pay me to do this review he doesn't even know it in fact i probably won't even send it to him but i did want to talk about this scent here now he hit me up a few i guess a month ago at this point he said hey b i got something i want you to get your nose on it tell me what you think personally behind the scenes and i hit him up and i told him that the fragrance was great but i feel like with the price point this thing here is severely underrated and I can't say that I haven't heard people talk about it because I don't really go out there and look for people talking about fragrances so if you've heard someone let's see if my thoughts and opinions happen to align now the note of ooh in itself is a fragrance note that is widely regarded as one of the most expensive notes out there in fact a lot of companies have really made claims with great fragrances with the note of oud in them think of tom ford's oud wood think of stronger with you oud think of valentino um noir absolute oud essence also think of royal oud from the house of creed and the list goes on there's a ton of oud fragrances out there and i may be missing even one of the better fragrances out there mfk oud satin mood but those fragrances are expensive, even to today's prices, or <laughs> pricing a few years ago. The fragrance that I'm talking about today, Hardcore O XXX, is 30 ml. It's an extra de parfum, and this fragrance is beastly. Oud in itself, when you think about the note, each of those fragrances that I mentioned prior, those fragrances are vastly different. Some are darker and more pungent. Some are lighter and better. Some are more sensual and seductive. And this one here is the perfect blend of them all. When I think of fragrances that have the note of oud in them, they should do a few things. They should poke your curiosity. They should challenge the way you think about fragrances. And they should also, in my opinion, be statement makers. And this fragrance here does all the above, but it does it in a way without smelling repulsive. Listen, the note of oud can be severely wrong for a lot of fragrance companies out there. Like they just don't do it right or they are doing it right and I just don't like it. This scent here listed as XXX. It's actually hardcore oud XXX, but I just want to emphasize that because I think Joe knew what he was doing here. He wanted to make sure, in my opinion, that he was making a fragrance that could be loved and adored by the masses and he knows that within this fragrance game there are people who really enjoy fragrances and they're hardcore with their fragrances and then you have the entry level ones who just want to get those fragrances that are going to help them get a little cutty and this fragrance again is the perfect mix of all of those things together to me hardcore oo xxx is captivating it's sensual and it's crowd pleasing despite some of the notes that you might find here obviously you have the note of oud you also have rose within this fragrance which can be a little off-putting in some fragrances but this one it's done phenomenal you also have the smoky aspect here you have some incense within this fragrance you also have leather cardamom patchouli amber saffron uh, you see where i'm going here there are a lot of sensual notes here darker notes Fragrance notes that probably would be better suited for the fall and winter and I would say that that is 1000% correct here. I wouldn't spray this fragrance on and walk down the beach in Florida. No, I'm not doing that. I'm not walking down South Beach with this fragrance on during the summer. However, if I am on a date night and I wanted to get something that was going to be unique, not something that the lady is used to smelling, this is a fragrance that I've reached for. In fact, when I sprayed this fragrance on, the missus was 
enamored with smelling this scent. And I had to tell Joe immediately, like, yo, Joe, you did your thing with this scent right here. And therefore, I'm telling you all out there, if you're looking for a deal within the fragrance, this is the way to go. Listen, 75 bucks is at a price point that almost anyone can afford. In fact, if you wanted to save up on it, I'm not sure how many bottles he has, how long this fragrance is going to be around. You can save 25 bucks a month and get you a fragrance like this. Phenomenal fragrance nonetheless. Long lasting. When I say long lasting, I mean 10 plus hours. 40% concentration on here. Joe is a big deal when it comes down to fragrances. Like he knows his stuff. Specifically, when I think of Joe's fragrances, I don't think of like fragrances that everyone has in their collection. I think of fragrances that are a little bit behind the scene. Fragrances you may not have heard of. He's diving into those and he has a nose Joe sent me. <laughs> he has a nose that has really uh, gotten him in a position where he knows what smells good. And when I got this one in, I was super excited that he was able to deliver such a phenomenal fragrance. The fragrance house that he did this in collaboration with was a pre-production performance, I believe they're called. I've never smelled anything from them before aside from this fragrance, but I think that they done a phenomenal job with this scent here. You want to be supportive of someone within the fragrance community? If you trust my word on things, I'm telling you, you're not going to go wrong with a fragrance like this. Even my 10 year old son, who is not really a big old guy, <laughs> he likes things like Blocky, he likes things like Cherry on Top, he likes things like Lucky. He said, hmm, what's that? And I said, well, this is hardcore oud. I didn't give him the rest of it, but he like, can I spray it? That's how good this fragrance is. This is the fragrance that I think a lot of you out there will enjoy if you give it a shot. Is it going to be best for spring and summer? No, like it's not. All right, if it's going to do wonders for you though in the fall and winter, if you're looking for a long lasting fragrance that really just intrigues people, draws people in, this is a scent that I would urge you to get in your collection. It's on the wall back there for a reason. It stands out. Joe, you did a phenomenal job with this fragrance. Hopefully you guys out there give this fragrance a try if you haven't already done so. There is enough masculine edge here with a touch of femininity here. When I say that is because I also firmly believe that anyone within the household could wear this fragrance. It has enough staying power where the 75 bucks, it's well worth it. And then also, again, it's complex without being overly complex. It's a fragrance that's easy to understand. It's a fragrance that's not repulsive, which a lot of oud fragrances can be, specifically for people who are not deep into fragrances. They might find oud is not a note. I got plenty of friends who are like, nah, oud isn't it. But a fragrance like this, you have just enough of the oud where you know that it's there. It's not a fragrance note that's listed and you never smell it. It's there, but it's done in such a way that it's super enjoyable. That's what you're going to get with this fragrance. Triple S. Smooth, sexy, sensual. That's what I enjoy about this fragrance. Um, it's a fragrance that I look forward to diving further into, but I'm not sure how long this fragrance is going to be around, so I could not wait until the fall and or winter to tell you my thoughts and opinions on this fragrance. Again, he didn't ask me to talk about this fragrance. This is just my honest opinions on this fragrance, and I had to make sure that I got it out there. It's charming. It's alluring. It evokes thought. It's thought-provoking. It's just a really nice fragrance all around, and I think a lot of you out there, again, will enjoy this scent. So be sure to try this fragrance out. If you, if you value my opinion, I think you'll love it. There you have it. Joe, shout out to you and the fragrance company that you work with to create the scent here. Extra at the Parfum is great. And then again, $75 is an unbeatable price point. There you have it. That's all I got for you. As always, I'm your boy, Big B B. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Tell a friend to tell a friend that we are back again. Who else is helping you find the best oud fragrances under 100 bucks? Me, of course. So share this video with someone out there who can enjoy it and hit the goddamn button.